Welcome to Garage Gym Athlete Cooldowns. These episodes are short, actionable podcasts pulled from previous interviews and content we've been publishing for the last several years. So go for a walk, hop on the rower, or clip into the bike for this cooldown episode. You know, I, tr- I try not to just show people what everybody is saying, but what the, what the newest scientific research is saying. And sometimes there's discrepancy there. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and Especially I've- with testosterone. I've been doing some on testosterone lately. And uh, let me give you an example, right? So um, I just learned, I was doing research on just all things testosterone. Number one, I learned that age declines in testosterone you know how you always hear you know as you get past age 40 you just steadily decline your testosterone level steadily declines yeah that's not actually true oh nice that's a, yeah that's shocking that's a to h- me. huge I mean, win for everyone over 40 right there <laughs> yeah and and i mean there's there's more variability so you do find people at older ages sometimes with really really extremely low uh testosterone and that brings the curve down but as as a general rule, if you get rid of those few outliers, the testosterone doesn't decline as we age. And I mean, that blew my mind because that's not something you hear. I mean, if you just Google, you know, testosterone declines with age, you'll get a million different graphs on Google images, but most of them are just made up. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look up the references, they're not even referencing scientific papers that suggest that. So again, mind blowing. But here's the other component of that is that we, as a culture, our testosterone is declining. So in the last 50 years, our testosterone has declined almost double, which is insane. So I'm not saying we don't have low testosterone. I'm just saying as we age, our testosterone isn't declining. So we do have a low testosterone problem, but it's not the way people think of it. Now, why do you think that as a population, our testosterone levels are decreasing? Because of artificial estrogen. I mean, there's a lot of factors. There's certainly factors involved in nutrition and micronutrients, but and gut bacteria too. I'm I'm going to do a video this week on the impact of gut bacteria and testosterone, which is another thing that's kind of surprised me. Um, if you inject people or mice or rats with a substance called lipopolysaccharide, which is usually abbreviated LPS. And that's an indicator of bad gut bacteria. You know, bad gut bacteria secrete this substance, this LPS. If, but if, if you inject that into people, their testosterone drops. And again, mice also. Um, and that's really telling. And what that means is if you have crappy gut bacteria, your testosterone is dropping just from your bad gut bacteria. But I think the, the biggest factor is the artificial estrogen chemicals because they've just been rising and rising as our testosterone has been declining and declining. And what I mean by artificial estrogens are things like soy, you know, well, that's not artificial, that's natural, but you know, the, the prevalence of soy and then all of these chemicals like parabens and phthalates and BPA. And, you know, even when we have these BPA free products, they still put BPS, bisphenol S in them. And, and that's just as estrogenic as BPA. That's why BPA is bad, by the way, it's because it acts like estrogen in your body. And so I think that's the root cause of most of the testosterone issues, although people, people should be lifting heavy weights. To bring to that. Thanks for listening to today's cool down. If for some ridiculous reason you are not subscribed to Garage Gym Athlete Programming, fix that problem right now. Go to garagegymathlete.com, sign up for a free trial, get started with us today. Thanks for listening.